a siphon fountain. A siphon is a bent tube with arms of unequal lengths. It is a useful device for transferring liquid from one container to another at a lower level. A rubber or plastic tube is normally used as a siphon. The end of the tube with shorter arms is placed in a container and the liquid is sucked up into the tube. A finger is put on the open end of the tube. Keeping one end of the tube in the liquid, the open end is then placed in the second container, which should be at a lower level than the first container. Air pressure then forces the liquid to flow from the first container into the second container. This is how a siphon works. This project teaches us how to make a siphon work and how to use the siphon principle to make a fountain. Materials required One clear plastic bottle One cork or rubber stopper Two plastic or glass tubes Two mugs Plasticine Take a clear plastic bottle about 8 to 10 inches in height and a cork or rubber stopper which fits into it tightly. Drill two holes through the cork into which plastic or glass tubes can be fitted tightly. One tube should project through the cork into the bottle by 1 inch, the other by 6 inches. If necessary, use glue to ensure an airtight seal around the tubes and seal the ends of the tubes with plasticine. Take two plastic mugs, one empty and the other half full of water. The mug containing water should be put on a stool about 6 inches to 12 inches above the empty mug. Carefully turn the bottle upside down so that the tube that projects the farthest into the bottle is over the mug that is half full of water. Remove the seal from the tube over the half filled mug and immediately lower the end of the tube under the surface of the water. The water level in the mug should rise while that in the bottle falls. After a few seconds, this flow of water should stop. Now, remove the seal from the tube over the empty mug. Water will flow quite rapidly from the full mug up into the bottle, forming a fountain and then down into the empty jar.